Hi friends, this is Muhammad Jibran and welcome to our C Sharp and Microsoft Visual Studios tutorials. Uh, in the series, we are creating a calculator. So till now, what we have achieved is uh, we have uh, created this uh, interface and uh, we are just left to write the code for our equal to button. So if I double click over it, this uh, in this here, I will try to write a switch case. Uh, what is a switch case means uh, uh, it's an conditional statement like suppose uh, if you have many options and uh, you have to select from uh, any one of them and you have to decide what you have to do so there we will go for uh, switch statements uh, there are more conditional statements like if else else uh, if else ladder but you know when you have uh, multiple choices then going for a switch case is much easier than using if and else so in this switch case what we need to describe is the cases Dif we will be having different cases depending on our different options as in the previous video we had assigned option the value of add subtract mul and division so these are the values of uh, these are the options which we can give to our uh, user okay which can be given by our user so we'll be taking those values and we will be uh, deciding what to do with our variables okay so in the basic uh, syntax for uh, switch is switch in the parenthesis we will give the parameter or the uh, value with which our uh, switch case will decide what to do so our variable who's changing the values according to every button pressed like whenever we are pressing the uh, addition button we are assigning the option as add whenever we are clicking the subtraction button we are adding the value of sub to our option va uh, variable okay so now what i want to do is we have different cases okay according to which button has been clicked by the user so if the user clicks the uh, some button or the addition button then according to that we will be doing this uh, addition over here okay so now in the case add what i want to do is uh, firstly I will assign uh, num2 equals convert dot to int underscore text box dot text ok uh, now before uh <coughs> now this is done now what I want to do is uh, I will show <coughs> the uh, we will add the numbers written in number one and uh, num2 and we'll store it in another variable okay uh, let me say int uh, total okay uh, let me let me just declare it over here on the top so it will be visible to all the cases let me say total okay now I will go down and uh, I will say total equals num1 plus num2 okay and then after that I will say my text box dot text will be equal to total now I want to show the uh, sum of the in the variable one and the variable two. Uh, now you need to again do it. Convert dot to string. Okay. So this is done, and uh, still we have one problem in our program. So let me uh, execute our program, and I will show you what's the problem. And uh, when this comes. okay now if I want to add 22 and um, 23 I will write 22 fine no problem and I pressed the addition button okay so now it's 22 plus 23 you see the problem with our code is the 22 is still in the text box we have not removed this uh, 22 which we have in uh, written earlier so we need to fix that so for that what we will do is uh, whenever 
the user clicks any of the operation button once we have assigned that text box value to our uh, variable num1 what we will do is we will make the text of that text box as empty okay we will clear the text written in that text box okay this is just one line which uh, we have to write in all our uh, sum button click subtraction button click multiple button click and in the division button click okay so now if i run my program uh, this time it should work perfectly let me say 22 plus see the text into has gone 23 okay now if i press equals it should give me 45 and it has given me 45 okay so now the calculator works fine okay so now we'll write the same code for the remaining buttons and the next button will go for is the subtraction button and <coughs> whenever this button is clicked we are assigning the value to num1 and we are saying that text box is empty after assigning the value and we are setting the value of our option to sub so now we'll copy it and we will create some more cases okay this case is for subtraction and uh, we'll do the same thing but we will just change the value in the text box by subtracting them and then we need one more case to multiply them we need to multiply the two values over here and uh, in the next we need to write the division so this is all we have to do and uh, just make it like this okay fine so now everything looks fine if we press this button everything should work fine so let us run the application uh, let me say 25 plus 2 equals 27 okay uh, now there is let's check the other buttons let me say 12 minus 2 equals 10 fine then next if I say uh, 8 into 2 it's 16 but uh, I think you are noticing one thing once one operation is completed like uh, 25 plus uh, 4 this text is there if I want to enter an, uh, some any other text I have to manually remove it I don't want to do this stuff I want a button to perform this task so we'll add one more button to do da to do that for us we'll what we will do we will just make it a bit shorter and we'll add uh, one more button over here and uh, get it to the fit the window and in that the text will be uh, you know c for clear okay now its name will be btn clear okay which will clear the text written in the text box so i will click this button and i will say whenever this button is clicked just make the text box text equals empty it's as simple as that okay now just run your program and uh, your calculator suppose if i press 55 and i press c it will go off let me add uh, 54 plus 2 equals 56 if i press c you know it's gone so this is how a basic calculator works hope you understood the series and uh, you enjoyed it and uh, thanks for watching it and hope you like the video